I showed at the time, I showed this, I gave a presentation and I showed this to a, um, uh, yeah, uh, quite a, a senior sociologist, um, um, someone who, you know, I was very re respected his work. And he looked at this and he said, oh, that's interesting. Uh, he said, oh, that's, that's, a homo that's homophily. So this is, you know, this is an interesting phenomenon for sociologists. And, I, and at the time, I'd never heard of this term before because I don't have, a, as I said, I have a very, um, I have quite a narrow economics training. I didn't take any sociology courses in, in my undergraduate years. And so this was my first exposure to the term homophily, which means birds of a feather flock together. So it's the tendency of organisations or um, actors who share an attribute to connect with one another. So there is a higher, you know, we find that it's, it's, it's one of these um, powerful social forces that people who are like one another tend to be more, t have a higher probability of connected to one another on certain dimensions, okay, and it's something that is found with um, partnership, friendship, um, lots of different dimensions. And this is at an organisational level, this is homophily. The other interesting thing about this, this type of diagram is that you, f you immediately find these interesting nodes like this one that seem to be kind of taking a bridging, a, a, a bridging role between these two communities. Um, and so again, this is of, of interest to sociologists because it's a, a visual display of um, a property that's known as um, uh, between the centrality um, or bridge building or bridge spanning. And it's the idea that there is a structural hole between these two communities. They're not talking to each other, but there are some actors that occupy the structural hole and, and those actors can be very interesting, you know, because they're taking a particular role that for some reason has helped, com they're connecting communities that otherwise would not be talking to one another. And again, this is a phenomenon that's been studied extensively in sociology, more at the individual level. And Ronald Burt is, um, is known for his work on structural holes and um, how they can, um, people who, who, who occupy structural holes are found to have advantage to get advantage within particular contexts like employment, um, they they can. Um, there's evidence to suggest that people who are who are who are taking this type of position um, have faster employment, uh, or better employment prospects, or, or faster employ. Um, they move up the occupational ladder, ladder more quickly and, and faster wages growth. So there does seem to be this this advantage that's conferred upon people who occupy structural holes. So that was interesting, and then. Um, there, soon after that, actually, I found out that a lot of people were interested in homophily on the web. And um, not, all, not all of them people were using the term homophily um, because that really is, a, at least back in the mid-2000s, that was a sociology term. Um, you wouldn't see it being used outside of sociology. But pretty soon after that, economists were writing papers where, about homophily. Um, computer scientists were referring to, homo, you know, to this phenomenon as either a sortative mixing or, or a homophily. Um, so this is another a diagram which is quite, um, quite famous actually, um, the Divided They Blog uh, um, network map. So Adamich and Glantz, they collected data on 1,500 US political bloggers in 2004 leading up to the US presidential election. And they did exactly what I did in the previous slide, they said, okay, let's code these website, these bloggers up as to, according to whether they are um, conservative or liberal. So the conservatives are the ones in the red and the liberals are the ones in blue. And then they said, well, and how do they connect to each other via hyperlinks? And what they found was this. Um, so there is a lot of cross divide connection going on there. You can see that there are lots of links going across, but it's outweighed by the amount of within group cluster um, linking. So there is homoph political homophily that exists here. And a lot of, um, th this, is, this, uh, di this diagram has actually been yeah, quite influential and um, um, uh, in some ways it's, uh, my, my, what I say to my students is if you want to get ahead in, in this area, you've got to come up with a good network map and, and a, good, a good byline like divided they blog.